Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Monkey Putter. This time I'm doing a short tutorial video on greenside bunker shots. Now the reason why I've decided to, to do this is because I've noticed on social media recently that um, a few of you have been asking the best way to do it since the chip shot option has been removed after the latest patch that came out in PGA Tour 2K23. Um, it's not a difficult shot to play and I think you just need to kind of get your head around the different mechanics in the swing compared to the chip and you'll be absolutely fine. Now I'm not an expert, um, this is the way that I approach the shot and I'm reasonably happy with the results. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't but um, hopefully this will help you to improve this sort of shot when you are faced with it. So I'm on the on the practice area, I'm in this bunker. As you can see from the, the HUD in the top right hand corner, the, the lie is not very good. The lie range is 66 to 73 percent, so that's going to take some distance off the shot. The ball is on a slight upslope as well, which is also going to decrease the distance that the ball will travel in the air. So we need to take these things into account. Now, without making any adjustments, I'm just going to play the shot as it is. Um, I don't use the swing meter, as you can see, so I rely on the vibration. Now, if you don't have the vibration switched on, you can do that within the game settings. So let's see if I can find the vibration point and then I'll take the shot. Now look how far the ball rolls. I mean, it's a, it's a nice finish, don't get me wrong. But the danger there is with a ball rolling, if you're in a situation where the greens are very fast uh, and maybe there's a steep slope, if the ball rolls too far, you could end up in trouble. You could end up leaving yourself a really long putt or possibly even rolling off the green and having to chip it back. So the way I tend to tackle this sort of shot is I hold down the L1 button on the controller to bring up the interface you can see in the bottom right hand corner of the screen and then I maximize the loft and I maximize the spin. Now as a result of doing that the ball won't travel as far through the air so I need to compensate for that and one way of doing that is to move the aim marker just a few feet farther away from my player's position doesn't have to be too far and now I take the shot so find the vibration point and then take the shot okay so hopefully you notice there how much quicker the ball stopped it didn't run very far at all and I feel personally that that gives me much more control over the bunker shot. I don't really want the ball to roll away from me. I want to be able to confidently stop the ball within a few feet um, and know hopefully that I'll have a reasonably short putt to follow it. Now there might be times where I want that extra roll if I'm further away from the hole and there's a lot of green between me and the hole and it's relatively flat then yeah I might not bother making any adjustments and just let the ball roll out but for a shot like this I'll just do it again for you maximize the loft maximize the spin adjust the aim marker just by a few feet not too much and then find that vibration point and take the shot Okay, now I didn't send that one quite far enough, but hopefully it demonstrates how much quicker you can stop the ball coming out of the sand, even if the lie is not particularly good. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. If there are any other tutorials you would like to see regarding the game, please drop a comment down below and I will do my best to organise that for you. 
If you like the video, please hit that like button and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would really appreciate it. So take care everyone and I will see you again soon. Bye bye.